Welcome to PayPod, the payments and fintech podcast. Listen along as we interview entrepreneurs and thought leaders from across the fintech world. From merchant services to microlending, from banking to Bitcoin, we cover it all. Now, here's your host, Scott Hawksworth. Hey, PayPod listeners, Scott with you, serving up another excellent podcast episode. And I'm particularly excited about today's show because we're going to be exploring a topic that is pretty revolutionary, really, on-demand pay. We've all gotten used to this idea that you only receive paychecks at certain times of the month and not necessarily when you actually worked those hours. But from a business and employee perspective, is that ideal? Joining me to explore this is Kayling Gaver, who is the co-founder and chief operating officer of TapCheck. After 18 years of operations experience at one of the nation's leading HR and payroll development companies, Kayling saw an opportunity to help families across the country gain better control of their finances by combining emerging technology with the practical payroll solution of on-demand earnings. Seeing the potential of this solution, she created TapCheck with her husband, Ron, and with her deep operational experience and extensive industry knowledge, Kayling guides TapCheck's day-to-day operations and inspires her team to continually seek out innovative solutions for employers and employees across the country. Needless to say, we have the perfect guest to discuss this topic. So with all of it said, let's dive right in. Kayling, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Glad to be here today. Absolutely. Thank you for joining us. And as I said, today we want to explore the power of on-demand pay and how it benefits both workers and their employers. But before we dive into all of that, I always like to begin with a big question. So to start us off, what are some of the inefficiencies or even problems with the traditional way employees have been paid needing to wait until payday, sometimes very long after they've earned those wages. Yeah, as we all have different life expenses and bills to pay, the low to moderate income earners are the ones who are the most sensitive as their wages are barely covering their day-to-day needs. I mean, 78% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck, and 39% would not even be able to cover a $400 emergency expense. I mean, these are keeping workers' earnings inaccessible, and it's causing them to miss their payments, you know, pay overdraft fees and have to resort to this predatory payday loan. All of these, unfortunately, put employees in a never-ending cycle that's hurting their credit and keeping them far from achieving their own versions of success. I mean, living the American dream, if you will. And the low to moderate income earners are a big part of our society. And it's time that we start helping them and break their never-ending cycle and take control of their own money. You put such a fine point on it, and I'm glad you mentioned that sort of cycle because we know that there is an absolutely a cycle when you are living paycheck to paycheck. Fortunately, TapCheck offers on-demand pay, which can solve these issues and offer other benefits. I gave the overview at the top, but for those who are unfamiliar, what's really the detailed story behind TapCheck and what kinds of industries do you currently service? In my past positions, I saw just the huge impact of what on-demand pay could have for both employees and their employers, which really led to TapCheck. I mean, we saw a significant improvement when companies out there were moving their paycheck cycles from biweekly to weekly. But what if we could do that even further? And that's really what the vision of TapCheck was. So we're a financial wellness benefit that gives employers a convenient and cost-free way to offer their employees the financial flexibility of on-demand pay. And we work with employers of all sizes across a variety of industries, and particularly from QSR all the way down to retail and home care and hospitality companies. For example, right now we're working with Little Caesars, McDonald's, Home Instead, Comforts Inn. And, you know, our app really just gives employees that financial flexibility they need to help manage their finances, improve their financial wellness, and by reducing that stress associated with those unexpected expenses or waiting for that two-week pay cycle. It's powerful. And thank you for outlining the story there. Can you give us a brief walkthrough of how it works from an implementation standpoint? I think this is so revolutionary here, but a lot of people wonder, well, okay, well, what happens when the rubber meets the road? So what does a company need to do in order to get set up? And how do their employees really start using this kind of service? Well, TapTrick is no cost to employers. 
and it easily integrates with the company's existing payroll and time clock systems. So the setup process typically takes only a couple of weeks, and overall, it's a really risk-free experience for employers. And once TapCheck is integrated with the employer's systems, employees simply just download the TapCheck app and create an account. And when they clock their hours, employees' earned wages will become accessible shortly after their employer reports them to TapCheck. The employees can open the app, check their available balance, transfer money to their own bank account. There's a lot of flexibility there. And they just simply pay a small fee, similar to an ATM fee, to transfer that money instantly within a few seconds or, or also the following day. Employees can also um, open a free pay card that's already available in the app. So if they don't have a bank account, there's an easy way for them to sign up for that card and be able to start uh, transferring those funds to, their, to that payroll card as well. So it seems like you really were going for, hey, let's not create a bunch of extra friction. Let's make something that's pretty seamless and really easy for employers to both use and then, of course, their employees to also use. Yeah, that's absolutely right. And really about giving employees choice, whether they have a, their own account, they don't, or really giving those employees the option. We're all about the freedom and empowering those employees. Right on. Okay, integrations. Uh, I talk about this a lot because we have so many payments businesses, fintechs, and they can be a huge sticking point for many businesses if they're implementing some kind of solution. So these payments businesses, these fintechs, they keep it in mind. It's important. If you don't work with a company's preferred software, for example, that can be an instant deal breaker. So I'm curious, what is TapCheck's philosophy around integrations, particularly with payroll, and how do you put that into action? And how do you go about adding new integrations? Yeah, it's a great question. And TapCheck's are leading edge here is that we do integrate with so many different payroll programs and time clock systems. And we're really adding those systems monthly to be able to accommodate employers of all size. I mean, on-demand pay used to be something that it was just for enterprise level because they had that integration capability. Well, we're really bringing that to the small to mid-sized companies as well. So TapTrick really just lets that incorporate that on-demand pay into their existing system so that they can get that benefit out to their employees. We work with all different size of companies, and that's really a key point for our system. And it really doesn't matter if that employee has direct deposit or is still receiving paper checks. There's no limit to what they, who can be eligible for the benefit there. We see employers as partners. So our team works really closely with them to quickly integrate into their existing systems, whether it be their payroll, uh, time clock, POS, scheduling softwares, without disrupting their existing process. And given that TapTrack is free for employers, it's really seamless, hands-off process for them overall. And that's really our, our top priority. Absolutely. I think that we've outlined, okay, there are some real benefits here for individuals, especially if someone's living paycheck to paycheck and these kinds of things for this on-demand access. But I still think that maybe people from the business side underestimate the value of this instant access to pay. There are quite a few benefits that TapCheck cites specifically, and I want to list a few of them here. You've got lower HR expenses, higher profits, and increased productivity. Those are what's been cited when I looked at your website. Can you break down a bit how your service can really lead to these types of outcomes? Yeah, and any time that you have the American workers who have these financial obligations that they're just not able to overcome, you're always going to create issues. Uh, so by giving those workers the ability to transfer their wages that they've already earned into their bank account, Retapcheck is really eliminating the need for those employees to have to go out to those payday loans, have to go get these cash advances just to meet their everyday expenses. I mean, according to a PwC survey, 53% of employees report that they spend three or more work hours just working and dealing with those cash flow issues. So rather mm -hmm. than employees worrying about those on the clock hours, the top checks give them that financial security that they can transfer the money to their bank account and pay the bills that they need so that they're not distracted at work. And we've really found and had a lot of feedback from our clients that employees tend to cancel their shifts less, which directly affects revenue. And by offering the benefit, we've seen an increase in job applications as well and less turnover, which is reducing those HR expenses and really positively impacting the company's profitability. And our clients are saying that they're seeing more employees ask for on-demand pay during their interviews. 
So it's an increasingly popular benefit that will help set employers apart in this competitive job market, especially in a lot of the industries that we're really common in. And some of our customers are really seeing as much as 50% reduction in turnover and 25% reduction in absenteeism. So absolutely impact to that bottom line. I think you've broken it down very well. And as you were talking about employees, you know, maybe spending hours on the clock, managing cash flow issues and worrying about that. I'm reminded of the psychological concept of Maslow's hierarchy of needs and the idea that if you're worried about being able to have money to pay rent, you may not be focusing so much on what you're doing when you're actually at your job earning that money. Whereas if you have that weight lifted, because as soon as I finish this shift, I'm going to be paid for what I just worked. That's powerful, right? Yeah, absolutely. And even to a lot of our users, we hear stories about they didn't even have the funds to get some gas in order to make it to their shift. Wow. I mean, so even yeah. before they get to work, we're able to help them overcome those simple things and just putting some gas so they can get to those shifts and be on time and not having to call out sick because they couldn't make it. This kind of segues really well into my next question because we've had a number of episodes where we've touched on a topic that I think is crucial for any fintech or payments business to consider, and that's the real financial challenges that many consumers face. And you have great tools like TapCheck that can help with that, but there's also the sort of financial education aspect that can be a huge benefit to people. TapCheck has a financial education resource center that it offers. Can you tell us a bit about what all is offered through that and why it's such a crucial thing for TapCheck to offer and, and perhaps really any financial business to address? You know, unfortunately, most people don't get a financial education growing up, not in schools, not from our parents or anywhere else or around us. And so we're really happy and excited to be that important source of information for the people who need it the most. So our TapCheck Financial Knowledge Center is giving employees all the tools and resources they need to become better individuals who can control and direct their lives towards financial wellness with less stress and, and more options and overall in a more satisfying and successful way. And it's important to provide not only effective tools that give people access to their earned wages, but also insightful education materials that support their holistic financial wellness. And by helping them make informed decisions on their path to achieving their financial security. Uh, so I feel that offering employees access to that resource will help also businesses to create a company culture that's really prioritizing that financial empowerment from A to Z. Right. It's really a holistic approach. It's one of those things that I think is too often overlooked. And I think it's really powerful that uh, TapCheck is doing that. And, and I would just say to any payments or fintechs out there or, or anyone who's developing that next great finance app, consider that aspect of it because obviously financial education is, is so critical. Kind of speaking to people starting new things, many folks out there are starting new fintechs. They're offering revolutionary financial products that change the way both businesses and consumers have operated around payments around money. One challenge when you are innovating, I think, is encouraging that adoption and achieving that growth. So, Kaling, what is TapCheck's philosophy around getting people to adopt a newer tool? How do you put that into action and really make it happen? Yeah, I think getting people to adopt any new tool is definitely a challenge. But our team really just lives for challenges. And our philosophy around increasing adoption is divided into three components. Our employers that we partner with, employees, and then the products. You know, so from the employer side, we see our customers, employers as partners. And we work together to ensure that we'll be able to benefit from all of these great values of offering their employees the financial wellness. And it's up to us and the employers to take the right actions together to ensure that their employees know about TapCheck and understand the value of that and how to use it. From there, it's really a smooth process for us. And, you know, so from the employee side, we run a pretty clever system. So when it comes to communicating with our users and focusing on presenting them the most relevant financial education tools and tips and explaining about the app and its benefits, and we work really hard as a team to make sure that every user is getting all the information they need to make an educated decision for using the app from individual mailers and each user's home, all the way to building our B2C community that provides daily tips for financial wellness. 
mostly from the product side, it is one of our main priorities to ensure our app and all the new products and features we're constantly adding will be as easy and fun as possible to use and resulting in a user experience that will drive up our adoption rate and really just get that enjoyment level for our users. I love the three-pronged approach there. I think that makes so much sense. And I'm curious though, and this is related to this, there's often just this uphill battle for payments organizations, fintechs, what have you, to break through the noise, I guess, and really increase that brand awareness and really put themselves on the map. So, you know, you were talking about partnerships, getting those conversations just started because some business came across and said, whoa, what's TapCheck all about? What do you think are the keys to improving brand awareness in these industries? And do you have any specific high-level strategies that maybe any fintech could consider exploring? In, in regards to you know, strategy, brand awareness is just really key for us. And we have a team that's constantly developing new strategies and tactics to really put us on the map, but in a very memorable way. Our strong brand that is modern, welcoming, and simple, and we see how it is tied with the needs of companies and employees in the country. And our strategies really focus on the long-term perception of people, and we are taking into account the fact that it is not the sexiest business to market, so we are of our own ways of communicating with employers and employees in such ways that they will still stay engaged and entertained while benefiting from the value of our product. And we also really heavily focus on partnerships as we partner with corporations, franchises, HR software vendors, time clock systems, really to enhance the credibility on the market and really to make simple to use. Next is innovation. And we really believe that we stay on top of the game and we have to keep innovating, you know, finding new ways and ideas that have not been seen that could elevate our brand and our company and just really leave a positive and unavoidable impact on our users and our customers. And I think lastly, it's execution. As a business owner for many years, I can say with confidence that the execution side of things has probably the biggest part in a successful innovation. I mean, having the right team members in our company is what really drives an effective and sharp execution that drives results and ultimately the growth and success of the company. Absolutely. It's one of those things where when there is so much out there and you're looking at, well, how do I break through this noise? If you've got great people working with you, and if you have a compelling message, and you're also doing the legwork, so to speak, to have those conversations, as you were saying, those partnerships, and also maybe think outside of the box, because what you're talking about there is it's not as though you're only partnering with specific people who would be using your service for their employees. You're looking at other areas, other HR solutions, things like that. Yeah, absolutely. Because it's really relevant in whether it's an HMS system or a time clock provider. Everybody is looking for those innovative tools that really will also help drive um, engagement to their products as well. Sure. And there's a snowball effect, right? Because one company starts using it and you have employees really happy with it. You don't know when some employee for another business might say, hey, my friend has this thing and talk to the business owner. <laughs> What's going on? Why Can we get that? <laughs> That's yeah, how it goes, absolutely. right? <laughs> I want to turn our attention to the future as we wind our discussion down. What do you see in the long-term future for on-demand pay? In five to 10 years, will it be the industry standard? And what technologies perhaps emerging right now might impact it? That's a really exciting question for us you know, because we really do feel in the years ahead that on-demand pay will become an industry standard. I mean, we're already seeing workers demanded as an employee benefit. So it will become an even more critical for companies to offer it moving forward in order to secure the top talent in this really competitive job market. Personal financial tools and benefits are likely to see more interest coming up out of this pandemic. I mean, as COVID-19 has heightened many of the financial challenges people are already facing employees will remember how their employers supported them during the pandemic, and they will continue to seek benefits that support this holistic wellness. You know, I also believe the future of on-demand pay will include a lot of AI and customization to better understand the users and their needs. And this will help enable companies like ours to offer a better product that will match the user needs and, and positively impact them and their employers. Without going into the details, I'll just mention that we're developing some really interesting technologies that will help us analyze data and offer suitable offers. And the future on-demand pay is definitely a bright one. 
Absolutely. Now, I know you just mentioned that, but if you could keep peering into the crystal ball, what else do you see in the future for TapCheck? Are there any products or partnerships or things on the horizon that you can actually share that our listeners might find to be interesting? Yeah, you know, as I said, you know, without sharing our plans too much, we are working on some products and features that will bring great value to employers and users and most likely will be one of the companies every employer in the U.S. would want to work with in the near future. We're always listening to our customer base and incorporating their feedback and making sure that we're keeping up with the latest trends in the payments industries. We're really excited about the future of TapCheck and we have a lot of good things coming. So stay tuned. We're excited to see it. All right, Kaling, we have a segment that we like to end with on each and every show. It's five questions. It's rapid fire. Are you ready? We're ready. (laughs) All right. Make a prediction about the future of payments or payroll that you expect will happen more short term in the next 12 to 24 months. The future of payroll has been, will be even more customized. I mean, payroll has always been really rigid in the past, but now on-demand pay is letting us see the benefits of giving those employees that financial flexibility. And like you've been saying, as that customization increases, you're going to see more and more employees demanding that because they're going to say, well, hey, I had this at my last job (laughs) or whatever. Yeah, exactly. What's one cool piece of payment-related technology that you've come across recently, but unrelated directly to your company that impressed you? Just seeing more and more companies implementing the AI in ways that we didn't know were applicable. The fintech industry should show should always have a human touch, but AI is really playing a key role in suggesting new products, services, and just improving that overall customer experience in the end. Yeah, AI continues to be incredible, and uh, we are going to be floored by what we see coming from AI in the years to come, really. In the next five years, most Americans will make a purchase with either Bitcoin, Apple Pay, some other thing. Which one and why? Uh, We're seeing such a rise in mobile payments already. And moving forward, I think we'll see everything as a contactless payment in the next five years. Kaling, what's one piece of advice you would have for someone considering the payments or financial technology industry as a career? If considering a career in fintech, it's just really critical to move quickly, be flexible to adapt your solutions to the latest trends, and contribute to the growth of the industry. The payments industry affects all consumers, so you should also be ready to deliver big ideas, revolutionize how people issue payments, and access their pay. Last question here. What's the best business advice you've ever received, and from whom? Yes, from my co-founder husband, Ron. One of the better quotes that he always uh, lives by when you learn teach when you get give and that's one of our mottos at top check we both saw the benefits that a flexible payroll system can provide in employers and their employees so we really strive to make this a reality for all working americans powerful insight there kayling thank you so much for joining me on the show today sharing top check's story and really the incredible things you guys are doing I think it's one of those things where I would love to see this be an industry standard because you've broken down how powerful it really is and how it can be such a win, not only for employees, but also for their employers. So thank you. And before I let you go, if folks are listening and maybe they're interested, they want to find out a bit more about TapCheck, where can they go? Where can they do that to connect with you guys? Yeah, thanks for having me on, Scott. Definitely our website is one of the best resources at tapcheck.com. You can definitely contact through there, set up a free demo as well, and see really how on-demand pay can revolutionize your organization and your payroll process. Fantastic. Thanks again. Thank you. If you enjoyed this episode and want to hear more, head on over to sorepay.com forward slash podcast to subscribe on your podcast listening platform of choice. That's S-O-A-R-P-A-Y dot com forward slash podcast.